Welcome. Let's install Unreal 5.1 on Linux. Firstly, go to GitHub, create an account and then log in. Next, head over to Epic Games Store, create an account and log in. Hit your username and click account. This will take you to your account settings. Down the side, hit apps and accounts. And then under apps and accounts, hit the accounts tab and then link your GitHub to your Epic Store profile. You must do this, otherwise you're not going to have access to the repo. Wait a few minutes until you receive an email saying they've added you to the project. Then you can jump over to the GitHub repo for Epic Games and you should have access to the Unreal Engine. Once inside, make sure that you've got access to 5.1. You should just see it at the top here. If it's any other subversion, you should be fine. Click the code and click download zip or clone the repo. Once you have downloaded the zip file, extract it and jump inside the folder. Right click and open in terminal. Run the first command of sudo dot slash setup dot sh to start the installation. Now we need to run the second command. So sudo dot slash generate project files dot sh. When trying to run generate project files, you may run into an error about an ICU package. There's two ways to potentially fix this. The first is run sudo .NET system globalization invariant and set it to one and then append your generate project files afterwards. This should fix it. If it doesn't, however, you'll need to go to the Arch repo and download this libicu50 package and then just install it. Simply right click the git clone URL and do copy link. In your terminal, type git clone and paste the URL. CD into the libicu package and then run make pkg for package dash si. This will start the installation. Then simply rerun dot slash generate project files. Now that is completed, it's time to compile the source code. So simply type sudo make and it will start compiling. This can take a long time. On my computer, it takes between four to six hours to run. If it crashes, don't worry. Typically, you can rerun it from where it left off. So just restart and then rerun the sudo make command. Now that Unreal has successfully compiled, it's time to change its permissions so we have access to it. So sudo chmod r and then set it to 755 to give the owner full permissions and everyone else read permissions and then set it for the entire folder. Next, we need to make you the owner of the engine. So type sudo chown r your username, colon your username again for your group and then dot dot slash unreal engine release. Now that is complete, you can successfully run Unreal. So CD into engine, binaries and Linux and do a dot slash Unreal editor. And with that, Unreal 5.1 is installed and working. You can now access all of the templates and on screen you can see me using it one of my games. And with that, let's create a desktop file for our new install. Go to user share icons and drop an Unreal icon that you want. I've included mine in the description if you want it. Next, open your terminal and go to sudo nano and then user share applications and create a new name for your desktop shortcut. In my case, I'm using Unreal 5.1.desktop. So this is where we set up the desktop file. Right at the top, declare it as a desktop entry and set the name parameter to be whatever you want. I've called mine Unreal Engine. In the exec, we need to tell it how to run Unreal. So browse to your Unreal installation and once you're in there, go into engine, binaries and Linux and then copy this path paste it into the exec. Afterwards, type Unreal Editor. Next, set a parameter of icon. Type the name of the icon that we created at the start. Since it's in the shares icons folder, it's globally accessible. Set the type to be an application. Set the terminal to be either true or false, depending on whether you want to see the output in a separate window. I've set it to true, but you can set it to whatever you like. Set up startup notify to true, and then set the categories to whatever you want. I've set mine to games and games design. Now, save and exit nano with control X, Y, enter. You may need to reboot or wait a little while until the desktop's update. Then after a little bit, you should see it in your menu. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that thumbs up and I'll see you next time.